Okay, well, define serious. Yo, it's 12 Planet, Smog Records, Los Angeles, California, and we're at EDC New York, and we love you guys. What's your favorite part about coming to New York? Um, aren't we in New Jersey? My favorite part of uh, coming to New York is uh, seeing all my friends that live here and uh, you know reuniting with everyone and seeing the really tall buildings and being a part of like this New York history and culture that spans over 300 years and the fact that we're able to play loud music in like a neighborhood like in the city is it's incredible this is my my second EDC New York but this feels like it's gonna be the best one there's so many people here and and people are into the dubstep music and I can't complain, I'm so. Who or what is the greatest love of your life? The greatest love of my life has to be dance, music, dubstep, drum and bass, house. Uh, I, I've been really influenced by this music since I was a kid, since I was 14, 13. I went to my first Electric Daisy Carnival when I was 15 and it changed my life. And, you know, I've been, I haven't missed an Electric Daisy Carnival since. Uh, in terms of like Vegas and, and, and LA and uh, Lake Dolores and all the other EDCs that were around the area, this will be my 17th year of attending Electric Daisy Carnival straight. So this is my major inspiration. Dance music is the prime mover in my life. I like to make money get turned. I like to make money get Turn. Yo, my boy that made that song lives across the street from me. His name's Carnage. That guy's got blonde hair right now, so if you see him, tell him he's ugly. He was on the court last night. Was he? he to him. That's my like my favorite, dude. Like, I, I I watched him go from like being a 19-year-old kid that moved to my neighborhood to being a 23-year-old superstar in America. It's 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 awesome. How do you deal with stress? I do not deal with stress because I am never stressed. I don't try, I don't like to have it in my life. I like to have a, a no deadlines kind of life. I like to do things on my own accord because like, I wasn't always as successful as I am right now. So right now it's, I'm in a point where I can do what I'd like and eat a steak if I want or go to whatever restaurant I want and that's all that really matters to me you know it's like being able having the freedom to do whatever you want to do that makes you happy yeah. I love that if I want to eat a steak I'll eat a steak yeah or if I want some you know fried chicken I'll go get some fried chicken freedom yeah it's freedom I want some fried chicken right now <laughs> Danny what do you want fried chicken uh, I want some fried chicken too what's something that people would be surprised to know about you I think that one thing that people would be surprised to know about me is my my level of addiction to Game of Thrones, and uh, the fact that I've read all the books and I've I, I, I watch all the TV series and read the comics, and it just like uh, it's something that influences me as an artist. Like I watch the story, and then it inspires me to make music. You know, it's, it's awesome. Do you have any recurring dreams or nightmares? I have a, this weird recurring dream that happens usually like before a show, like a week before the show or like a few days before, where I get to the, the, the stage and I press play and nothing happens. I have these recurring dreams of me failing on stage and not getting in any support and everyone uh, turning their back on me. That was kind of deep, right? That's what everyone has said. Serious? Yes, that's like a reoccurring DJ nightmare. Wow. Yeah. Uh, what's the best piece of advice you've ever gotten and did you take out? Yeah, the best advice that I think I was ever given was uh, to live life to the fullest and uh, live each day like it's your last and try and make the most of everything. You gotta like not pussyfoot your life. You gotta like make something happen. Who was your first crush? Oh God! I think my first crush had to be Lisa Turtle from Saved by the Bell. She's so beautiful. Uh, Lark Voorhees. I think when I was in third grade, like I fell in love. Like 
before I even knew what that emotion even was. She was so beautiful. She is so beautiful. Lark Voorhees, if you're hearing this, I love you. Thank you for the many memories when I was in third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh grade. What's your favorite football team? It's the Green Bay Packers. The Green Bay Packers suck. What's your favorite basketball team? I'm kidding, I'm totally kidding. Look, the Packers are like an amazing institution of football. If you had to like sum up what football is, you go to Curly Lambeau Field and show someone that. But you know, something that's so historical and so great, you know, I've got to hate because I'm from LA where we don't have a tradition of football and I'm jealous. And, and the fact that the Green Bay, like the best players on Green Bay are all from California, it's awesome. But fuck the Packers, go Chargers. All right, interview's over. Oh. <laughs> I have nothing more to say to you. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else you want to confess? I would like to say Katie is the best person to ever come out of the state of Wisconsin. And uh, if she ever finds herself in downtown looking for a drinking buddy, she has one in 12 Planet. <laughs>